the world and the world was what it was. The only time world. blacks and whites come together or switch sides and no one gets lynched. <laughs> Too bad most of entrenched this is anything but a metaphor for life. Separate and equal ain't never work right, cause all's not fair in love, war, or anything else. Trust. Blacks been forced to the back of the bus and in the army tossed to the front line. Venus hot and tight was a caged exhibit. Cause uh and I had to ask you all day, can we go hard? Yes, sir. Yeah. Can we go hard? I'm asking you, are you ready to cringe a little bit? Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> If I don't make you cringe a little bit, I'm not doing my duty. <laughs> Big brother, this is for you. Dear anti-revolutionary poet, <laughs> what if Amiri Baraka stopped writing, stopped speaking the truth, stopped teaching the youth, stopped raising hell and fighting and loved you just like your master? Oh, what if I loved your babies the same way the Catholic priest did? The oh, same God. way Justin Volpe loved Louima in that bathroom with that plunger? Could you gaze then into my eyes and love me the same way you love the system? What if I violated your children like R. Kelly and then paid you off? Would you love me on videotape for the world to see? Black woman, if I serenaded you the way the rappers do and then beat you and then brag to my friends, would you shake it fast? and then watch yourself on BET degraded by your brother black woman I am your brother what if I stick my bick in your mouth dripping ink down your throat would you swallow my load of poetic BS are you coming up with quotes as your bad so soaked with words that you can't bear to Bring take my it on no America or prefer the 13 colonies I got bent frozen flesh peace to me is starvation war makes the money and I'm an expert at playing on your insecurities all I see is dumb and dumber. All oh, money in this spot now. I can buy your soul a thousand times over and still He must have had a minor in hospitality. It will explain how well mannered he would behave when the boys in blue came and had questions about domestic disturbance. No, sir. No issues here. Her screams are silenced by the language barrier because policemen in my neighborhood no habla espanol after six. Give me my dad's blue suede shoes, jailhouse rock, and little Richard is just you. I want the deed to your platinum wax built by the house of stacks. I want my daddy's record track. I believe. I believe my Mary Baraka was right when he asked, if I was Presley as the king, then who was James Brown? Sometimes. Sometimes I want to beat on the drum. I want to ride a horse into the sunset. Catch my own food, skin and cook it. Savor the taste as I examine the stars and police free skies over a fire that I built for the occasion. Sometimes I want to rip myself from my phone. Smash remote controls. Chop down telephone wire. But I, I know the greatness that I, I stand before. Um, Mel? Y'all know James Baldwin, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. So after James Baldwin passed, I mean, who else? That's right. That's right. For the mama of Mary Baraka. Right. And I say a mama because I grew up in that household. Mm -hmm. The mama means spiritual leader. Mm -hmm. My mother's mother's library had over a thousand books. And her bedroom closet, oh shit, that's the footsteps. <laughs> My mother's mother's library with over a thousand books. And her bedroom closet was flooded with guns. And she helped raise her first grandson with a switch and a message. Her patience was not to be tested. A nurse who talked two languages and expected her progeny to excel. Quick to tell you, tough titty, raised four children by moving back and forth between southern and northern cities, told my mother no way. Yeah, you and that baby who moved in, but go roll man moving into my house on no day. No pity. Bosom was warm, but the gangster was gritty. Pretty girl, piano player, singer, matriarch, cared for her parents for years while secretly dying of cancer, but still never let anything tear her family apart. My grandmother, you let English was my heart. Twice. These fellas maybe remember that, that back in 1967, I went to court, accused of having two guns and a phone. <laughs> <laughs> the judge said, 
This poem is a prescription for criminal anarchy. I don't want to know, Judge, you mean they, they took the poem and after they read it, went out and burned up the city? Is that what you think? Anyway, it said three years, no parole. And then 2003, what was it, three, this poet laureate thing, the governor said, uh, I, I, when he said, you, you're the poet laureate, I said, well, are you sure? Have you ever read my poetry? Have you ever read any poetry? <laughs> <laughs> because you might be making a mistake. <laughs> you know, he said, well, I can handle it. You know, but then, of course, uh, I read this poem at the Dodge Poetry Festival. Maybe that's why I'm not invited back to the Dodge Poetry Festival. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the governor called me, the governor's office called the next day and said, you have to apologize and resign. Yeah. It was poem. Yeah, yeah. Poem, create that. I thought poetry was nothing but literature. Right. Know. But see, that's the point with these poets, you see. It's not just, quote, literature. Right. You understand? If you're doing what you're supposed to, like your brother said, if you're doing what you're supposed to, there's supposed to be a reaction right. to that. And everybody can't stand what that reaction is. You know, they can't stand that, but that's what the gig is. You see, and if you can't handle that, then you've got to get another gig. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like my daughter, bless her soul, who was killed, when that poem came out, she said, she came to me, she says, hey, mama, my mama, uh, they want to know if you uptight because you know, they want you to, they want you to resign. And she said, no, I told her my father liked this. He know that. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, she knew what our job was, you know, to, to create that questioning in people. What is the world really like? So like, like 911, which is what they hammered me for, 911. Now, you know now, in 2012, that 911 was simply the door to the Middle East. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's nothing but the way they got in there. They ain't got out yet. Yep. Yep. <laughs> they had been Iraq. Now they're going for Iran. They yep. got Libya. They yep. got Syria yep. next. You know? yep. That's yep. all it was, is the door to the Middle East. Yep. But if you say that, <laughs> you know, oh, but you're doing, you're getting ready to go steal everything. That's what you get ready to do. Then you've got to give up. These little awards that they give you. You know what I mean? But <clears throat> those awards don't mean anything. I like to say this though. We have always a tradition. What I'm doing with these these poets here, this, this is not new for us. Afro-American poets, Afro-American writers, we have one of the greatest traditions in the world. We can be proud of them. You mentioned Jimmy Baldwin, you know, but what about people like Larry Neal? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, what about people like, uh, like um, all the poets, uh, like, like uh, for instance, Langston Hughes, for instance, or Sir Neil Hurston, mm -hmm. all those great poets. You can go all the way back and read about black people stirring up trouble <laughs> in this country. Why? Because we were slaves. Has anybody else been no slave? So if we don't raise hell about it, who's going to do it? That's right. You know, and we are the bottom. If we don't say nothing about it, who's going to say it? You know, and if you get too cute to where you can't talk about reality, then you need to get another gig. <laughs> don't be no poet. You know, and all that imitation English academic poetry that we tried to deal with in the 60s. You know, like he mentioned, the beat generation. That's why I was hooked up with him, because they, remember the first person I saw that band was Allen Ginsberg, who also from Newark. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, he's white, Jewish, but he came from Newark. You understand? All the poets that are known from New Jersey have had a hard time. Not only Ginsberg and myself, but Walt Whitman, mm -hmm. You know, they wanted to ban him. Uh, William Carlos Williams, they wanted to ban him. But all of those poets, because why are we so close to New York? We get sophisticated, but we country enough to say what we mean. <laughs> <laughs> what we have to look at is not only our tradition, but what institutions are going to carry that forward? What institutions do we have? You know, 
Rough Coast be happy they let us in here. It wasn't time. We couldn't even come in here. You know, I was a professor here. They ran me out in 1989. Yeah, that's right. That was another place I got kicked out of. <laughs> and, and why? Because I said, university is the last bastion of colonialism. Mm. Mm. You teach English literature, you teach French drama, you teach German philosophy. What about teaching about Afro America? What about teaching about Puerto Rico? Mm -hmm. You understand how Brazil or Mexico or right. even Canada? Why not teach something in the Western Hemisphere? You see? So I was gone after that. <laughs> the guy McCormick, who was just the president, uh, they got rid of him, thank goodness, because he was the hatchet man then. You know, at that. And uh, what they really got mad at is that the white kids came out of the school too and closed down the English department. That's why that run out of there. They closed the English department down, you know, for the campus was closed for a whole week. Right. Why? Because I said, you don't teach nothing about the Western Hemisphere. You don't teach anything about the Western Hemisphere. So, anyway, uh, I wanted to tell you that in America, the literature always goes between oppression, that is, this is slavery. We were running on slaves. We were running on slaves. You know, so the Swahili word for, for the Swahili word for Holocaust is mafa. So when people ask, you know, how has it been in America for you? We say, it's been a mafa. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.